early visitor? Um, maybe tomorrow. What does it mean exactly, dialysis? It means, um, it means that Kirstie's going to have a tube inserted in her arm, which is connected to a machine, which will pump out all the toxins that are normally filtered by the kidneys. She isn't going to die. You're for crying out loud, Max. Haven't you heard anything anyone has said? I'm sorry. Oh, sweetheart, it's all right. Uh, Kirsty is not going to die, okay? And he didn't mean it, mate. He's just tired and worried. But, um, she's going to get better. Well, that's something we're all going to have to pray for. Mrs. Phillips, I hope I'm not disturbing you. What happened? Oh, uh, war games accident. Unfortunately, it's going to need an operation. This afternoon, in fact. And I'm going to be transferred to another hospital. A bit of a coincidence. I suppose ending up in a hospital like this. I didn't realize you were in here till this morning. Irene, I hope it's nothing serious. My kidneys are shutting down. I have to go on dialysis or I'll die. I'm so sorry, Kirsty. I didn't know. Four hours a day hooked up to a machine. But hey, always keeps me alive, right? I... I wish I knew what to say. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. It's a conversation killer, is it? I want you to know that I think that you're a very strong young lady. And if there's anything that I... Well, I'm sorry for intruding. I wish you well. Good luck. Would you, would you like me to call a nurse? Good luck with your operation. Thank you. Nine, do you one more? Come on, you can do it. Ten. Hi. Beautiful. Hey. Sorry, um, I brought you some morning tea, high protein, no fat. Right, excuse me for a second. There you go. Well, thank you. Um, so, Kirsty, you're finishing early today, right? Yes, I am. Why? Well, I thought we could take these days to the movies. There's the new Disney film playing in Epic Creek. Oh, right. Yeah, that'd be cool, except I've got so many things to do this up. Why don't you take him this time and I'll take him to something else next week? Yeah, I just thought it'd be nice if we could both take him together. You know, if it wasn't for the way he kissed me, or like he'd try to avoid me or something. Don't be stupid. All right, I'm just really busy. I'll call you later on, okay? Yeah. Thank you so much, Thousands of people are on dialysis. They cope. She's 17 years old, Scott, and she's going to have a baby. Well, we hope, right? Well, you think she might not? Well, no one's saying it, but we're thinking it. The best thing we can do is just be positive. Hey. Hey. You okay? Oh, um, yeah, I just came to give Jesse some afternoon tea, but I don't know why. I thought you guys were fine. So did I. Has he said anything to you two about me? Sorry, but I haven't seen it right now. order of soy milk here. Where do you want it? We didn't order any soy milk, especially not that much. Well, you must have, or I wouldn't be here. Well, there must be a mistake. I took the order myself. The bloke said three dozen cups. No mistake. Look at this. So, what do you want to talk to me about? I want you to tell me what really happened. I did tell you. You're mucking around. Why is that so hard to believe? Because mucking around is usually something you do with mates. And judging by the look of you half an hour ago, you haven't made too many of them lately. You might have behaved in a sportsman-like manner with this paint bomb thing, but I know you didn't lie down and die oh, like that. That's great, Dad. I won. I actually thought you might have been proud of me for once. The question is, what did you do to him? I did what was necessary. Did that include injuring your commanding officer? Answer the question. He wasn't meant to get hurt. 
What was meant to happen? I wanted them to think it was Kim. I'm sorry, Dad. Sorry mightn't be good enough this time. It wouldn't surprise me if Hyde had you charged with assault. You're not going to tell him, are you? No, of course I'm not. You are. I don't know what to say. I wanted to get back at Kim. <laughs> and you knew that I'd automatically blame him. I didn't mean for you to get hurt. I swear, that part was an accident. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. So what happens now? I'll have to give it some thought. In the meantime, I suggest you give some thought to how childish pranks often get out of hand. I will. Oh, Mr. Stewart, take it from me. Revenge against anyone is pretty hollow. I don't know where I went wrong. I really don't. I didn't, but I'm beginning to. Hey. Hey. I tell you, fitness must be going out of fashion. I've had like three clients this morning. Well, there's really good surf outside, so maybe they're all out there. Sure. So you heard any more news on Kirsty? Ah, uh, no, I'm gonna go see her later, though. Well, say hi to her for me when you see her, hey? Yes, Leah was in here before looking really down and she wanted to know if you said anything to me about her. No, she seemed fine to me when I saw her. Jess, what's going on? Nothing's going on, Danny. Jess. I kissed her and I think she thought that everything was going to be okay. And I was hoping it was going to be as well. But it's not? I'm just not convinced there's nothing going on between her and Flynn. Oh, come on. Serious, Danny. Look, don't be stupid. I mean, this is Lee we're talking about. Scott, tell him he's imagining things. Look, it's got nothing to do with me, and I could just soon keep out of it. So, you want to tell me what's going on? What do you mean? Well, it's the second time you've dropped a hit and walked away. I want to know what it is you're not saying. I'm not dropping hints. I don't want to get involved. It's your business, not mine. It's another way of saying you haven't got the guts to tell me the truth, Scott. You want to talk about guts? You know what, Jess? There are two people who know whether you should be worrying about something or not, and one of them's the woman you're in love with, except you don't have the guts to ask her what's going on. That's out of line, Scott. And that's bull. You don't want to ask her because you're scared of the answer. Well, I didn't realise he knew me so well. You'd rather let your imagination run right, keep Leah at arm's length, and find out the truth. You don't have to be a genius to see that. You want cucumber on your sandwich, Max? No, thanks. What happens if um, Aunt Carissa's kidney isn't compatible? Well, then Auntie Shelley will be tested, and if she isn't a match, then Danny, and any other member of the family who are willing to be a donor. Could I get tested? Unfortunately, you have to be 18. Oh. That was a very generous thought, Max. You're a good guy. Oh, I wish Robbie would invent something to stop this machine doing a hissy fit every time I want to do a load of power. How dumb are you, Max? As if they're going to let a 14-year-old donate a kidney. And you're not even an immediate member of the family. So what? You don't have to be related to be compatible. I think Max should give his kidney to Kirsty. After all, he's been getting by without a brain. Shut up. Oh, it's just a joke. This is Kirstie's life you're talking about. It's no joke. People say people aren't going to die, but sometimes they do. Okay, I'm sorry. If anything happens to her, you will be. Hasn't that family been through enough over the last few years? Hmm. Just when things are starting to come good, this has to happen. Yeah. Are you all right? Yeah, all right. 